Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are heading for a drive in the rain. Well, after a quick trip to DC, I'm heading back home now. I gotta hurry it up because we have a live stream coming up in a few hours. I still haven't got all the names situated so that we can pull them out of a box. But when you're watching this vlog, we'll already have a winner. So Michelle picked the rest of that other Cornish game hen and I'm going to make Cornish game hen salad. Yeah, I guess that's what it would be called. So for the salad part of this Cornish game hen salad, it's real simple. Homemade sweet pickles, celery. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pickle juice in here too. I also put salt and black pepper in there. And finally, just a little teeny tiny bit of garlic powder, not a whole lot. Start with two tablespoons of mayonnaise and I'll mix this up. One last thing, some celery seed, because I like celery. That's it, I'm gonna mix it up, put it in the fridge, it'll be ready in a few hours. All right, time to cook dinner. I am going to be making... You did something around here. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, she just got home, and I got now. This is what I got to put up with when she gets home. I slave over a hot stove all day long. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be doing these like burgers. They're not really burgers though, because they have uh, breadcrumbs in them and seasoning and stuff. So I guess you call them seasoned burgers. But we're going to pan fry those with mushrooms and cream cheese and some wine. I usually use Harvey's Bristol cream sherry, but we don't have any. So I think I'm going to try it with this Pino Grigio. Pino Grigio. And we're going to need cream cheese. So this is low carb. And you could serve it over noodles and make it not low carb, but it's really, really good. Everybody's always, please make it, please make it. All right, I'm making it now. Jeez, get off my back now. Okay, so what's going in it? Some onion powder, some salt, garlic. Are you guys seeing a common theme here on everything that I cook? It's basically the four same ingredients. There we go. And I ground up some low carb bread. Actually, it's the heel of the bread, so it's just like one slice. And then we're gonna put an egg in there. All right, so I'm gonna mash this up with my hands, and obviously I can't do that while I'm holding the camera. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with that. All right, so this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to make some burgers out of it. All right, there we go. Two pounds of ground beef. Six and a half burgers. But I don't think they're going to fit in this pan. Um, I'm going to put some oil in here and then I'll put the burgers in. Okay, once again, I'm using coconut oil. It really doesn't have a coconut flavor though. Um, it's supposed to be better for you than regular vegetable oils but you could use anything you want. And you could of course use olive oil or avocado oil, although I will not let that stuff in this house. Not olive oil, but avocado oil. I hate avocados. I don't think they're all gonna fit in here. those last two after. Yeah. Have a little room to flip them. Oh wow, they're smelling really, really good already. Well, it's cooking now. It's also sticking now. One of the hardest things to do is to flip a burger 
or something in a pan while trying to vlog with a camera. Not easy. No, oh, thank you. As the, as the frying pan with all of the hot oil goes everywhere. So I don't need to cook this all the way through because we're going to put it back in the pan when the sauce is finished and it will finish cooking that way. And while I'm upstairs cooking, I'm actually down here now, trying to get everything set up for our live stream tonight where we're going to be giving away a prize. So exciting. All right, I need two hands for this. Okay, just about set up. That's the view that we're looking at when we're talking to you guys on the live stream. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put that last hamburger on and then we'll start on our sauce. All right, this grease is really smoking, but that's what you want the bottom of the pan to look like. And I'm going to throw some butter, like two tablespoons in. Give it more fat. Remember, this is for keto. Fat rules the day. Then two cans of mushrooms. And turn the heat down. Let these mushrooms cook for a while. And then I'll deglaze with some of that white wine that should be sherry. Only an hour and a half before the live stream. For our 500 subscriber giveaway and I am nowhere near being ready. Nope. Okay, I'm going to deglaze with about a half a cup of white wine, which should be sherry by the way. Get all those chunks of goodness off the bottom. Turn the heat back up to high. Uh-oh. Our burner's still acting weird. I think I need to replace that before canning season starts, Michelle. It's acting really weird. I'm going to let that sizzle for a little bit and reduce by a little bit. You know what? I might add some Worcestershire to that, too. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I can't remember if I ever added this before to it. I think I did the first time I made it. No? Just a little hint of it. Since we don't have the sherry. Give it a little bit of a earthy tone to it. All right, so now we're gonna put those two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese in here. I'm going to do this without killing myself. Huh, that worked pretty good. Get that all incorporated together. Got to put the camera down a minute. 
Okay, so at this point I would usually add about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream, but we don't have any left, so I'm going to have to use half and half. a little too thick. Using half and half is going to increase the carbs a bit. I forgot a very important ingredient. Beef stock. That's why it looks so thick to me. It's probably a good thing that I didn't add like four cups of cream to this. <laughs> Doing all this stuff from memory and I make it up as I go along. Sorry. There we go, now it's starting to smooth out. That's what we're looking for. Let me use the rest of this. Beef stock. I mean, I guess you can keep it thick, but then you won't have as much sauce to go over the burgers. All right, I'm gonna bring that to a boil. And then we'll put the burgers back in and cover it up. All right, so off camera, I add a little bit more salt to this. That's about all that it really needed. Salt to taste, of course. All right, let's put the burgers in. The burgers are in the pool. I'm gonna cover them up now. Make sure the high, the heat is on like eh, medium medium high and then we'll just let them go for a while and then I'll flip them over once and the, the other side will get all coated or this side will get all coated let it cook for a little while longer and then it is finished oh we need a vegetable so tonight's vegetable du jour is Italian green beans in a can Here it is, guys. Time to plate it up. It's like lava. Delicious cheese lava. Going to have a teeny tiny bit of applesauce with this, too. If you let this sit for a while, the cheese will get kind of thick. I'm having trouble finding the mushrooms. There are mushrooms in here, I swear. We put them in. You saw us put them in. What a mess. How does that look? Oh yeah. Yeah, I make a mess when I cook. All great chefs make a mess when they cook. A little bit more sauce on that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Here is the final product on my plate. How does it look, Shell? She's yelling at me because I made a mess over there on the stove. Well, we are all set up for the live stream tonight. Say hi, Shell. I think we're set up. We haven't tried the audio yet. You guys want to say hi? Say hi to the vlog. Silly. <laughs> then you can see yourself in the vlog tomorrow. Say hi. And I have to hold it here because there's like a huge delay. Here, I'll do that for you. There it goes.
Well, does anybody else have uh, plans for Mother's Day? Any special plans? Hey, Mike, how you plans? doing? Going anywhere? Seeing any moms? What are you doing? I'll tape this one more time. Okay. Okay, everybody, say goodbye. Here we go. Say bye. I know there's a delay. I'm going to sit here for <laughs> two minutes holding this. Do, do. <laughs> there you got your two goodbyes I got two goodbyes and my mom said bye too alright guys we'll see you later thanks a lot Hey guys, thanks for watching the vlog tonight. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hey, and be sure to check out these other amazing adventures.